back guys it's the CEO of one beautiful day today we are soft washing this house just giving it a nice rinse down on this side we've coated it with a one I think we did about one and a half to two and a half percent sodium hypochlorite this one wasn't that dirty and uh, mostly just new construction that we're knocking off here go ahead and show you a little bit more of the house Absolutely beautiful property here. Uh, this is hardy board, not siding, and we're just kind of getting it rinsed off well. We've got all the cobwebs off, taped up some of the electrical outlets, so we don't have to worry about that. I like to tape up my doors typically as well, so that we don't get any bleach or sodium hypochlorite inside the actual locking mechanism, as it will actually uh, destroy it pretty quick. And you can tell here that the uh, window seals really brightened up nicely. A lot Spray of that a was a little bit like of black, over not too bad, but you can tell the little black marks were showing up from the wheel caps and magma. Uh, of course, all of that is dead. The siding is cleaned up really, really nice. Cleaned up well, the hardy board. But the house is looking great. And this was a fun day. Either way, I can already tell. Uh, we've got the wheelbarrow here. It has the 16-gallon Northern Tool and Equipment North Star. Uh, soft washing tank it's actually made to treat plants and uh, bushes and spray them for insects and pests but we're using it here with sodium hypochlorite to spray it onto this house and uh, it's killing any of the organic stuff on the house and lightening up everything really really nicely and then we're just rinsing all of it down to rinse off the uh, about two two and a half percent sodium hypochlorite mix that way the bleach doesn't stay on there as you know or may not know sodium hypochlorite is mostly salt so can't let that sit. We probably didn't need to ladder up, but we did ladder up on this one just so we can make sure we hit the uh, sides. We didn't actually have to set foot on the roof, although we could have. Well, I think we did when we cleaned the windows, because on this one we were soft washing the house and then going back and cleaning the outside of the windows afterwards. This was, a, what, I think a $550, $575 job and i think it took us maybe three hours tops and it's just the two of us so as you can imagine you know you do two or three of these a day on a good day and you know you've had a, a profitable day so to speak uh, washing houses on this one here just being careful not to shoot any water up into the holes where the uh, eaves breathe a little bit and let water into the attic you gotta kind of rinse them off a little bit to clean them so there's going to be a little water and bleach that gets there but you just don't want to douse the inside uh, as much as possible anyways but this one cleaned up really really nice a lot of construction dirt from the uh, neighborhood they were building this one this one this house has only been there about a year and a half and we cleaned it um, but they're still building on the rest of the neighborhood uh, we did end up pressure washing this driveway also which I think was another like two hundred dollars on top of that ticket price but all in all a pretty good day Guys, always look for a way you can upsell on a job. So if we go out and we get a call to do windows, we go out and we look for what's dirty. Can we pressure wash the driveway, the back patio, uh, upsell? If you go out for a $200, $300 window cleaning, look for another three or $400 before you leave the house, if possible. You're going to have customers that can't do it, that don't need the work, that, you know, all of these things. But you're also going to have people that would really like to have something else done. Maybe the driveway is dirty. Maybe the house does need to be washed and it's filthy and you can clean it up and make a little bit of extra money and provide some value to your customers. I got to give him credit though, man. He got me into soft washing and I, I don't regret it. It's been, uh, it's been good. Boy, CEO of one here. I hope you guys make sure you hit like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Leave me some comments down below and let me know, have you ever done a job like this? What services do you like to upsell on your jobs?